educated. I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood brother's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. Man, I can't even lie. Like, it's so much with this story right here that's going on with uh, True Latizzi that I'm talking about like the information that I'm getting is coming in. It's almost too much, right? And it's like, man, I'm trying to put this stuff in a proper perspective so that I can give it to y'all the way that I give it to y'all. But so stay tuned, you know what I'm saying? Because I, this information is coming in and I'm going to break it down probably in my next two videos or just probably my next video. But right now, I just wanted to address this right here because I believe that um, True Latizzi's wife is playing a dangerous game. Check it out. Now, as y'all can see, that's his wife, right? And, you know, we got to be 100, you know what I'm saying? After your husband get killed and stuff like that, of course, you're going to be hurt and you're going to feel a certain type of way. But just from her saying what she's saying, she is blaming the whole paper route empire. She is blaming the death of young Dolph for the death of her husband. Now, I don't believe that uh, his wife should be, you know, doing what she's doing. But who am I, who am I to speak? You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, when people are hurt and stuff like that, yeah, I can understand that. But you're a woman. And unless you talking about some, unless you a stepper, you know, because we got to understand something now, y'all. We got these women. Some of these women stepping harder than uh, men. So unless you a stepper then I can understand you talking the way that you talking. But as far as her putting this whole murder, basically, you know what I mean, on Paper Route Empire, uh, it's dangerous. Because you got people out there that still got love for Dolph. And you sitting up here saying things like, you know, that he looked better dead and stuff like that. It's like, if you not playing with this right here, you not in that game, you know, you need to, you know, calm down, sister. You know what I'm saying? Calm down. I understand that you're angry. I understand that you're hurt and stuff like that. But at the same time, I mean, like, look, you seen, look what they just did to your husband. They did that to your husband because you believe that your husband has something to do with young Dolph. So if they did that to your husband, what you think they'll do? You know that you know you got some of these brothers out here. They kind of crazy that they'll take it there with you just because you saying what you saying. So I would advise you to take all that stuff down. Take it all down, and and not only that. I mean, play your position. You got them little girls. You got to take care of. You know, uh, his funeral and all that old type of stuff. You the wife. You know what I mean. Take care of your business. I mean, get out this street stuff. And the cold bloody part about everything is this right here is that like she understood. She understood like what could possibly happen. Cause as y'all can see, when she was having that dialogue with whoever that other person was, that she said, I mean, not I mean, when she in her post, she said, look, just come with it. I already know how it go. Just come with it. So if you understand that this come with it, then don't you know, calm down then. And if you believe in that, I mean, hey, that's the life that you chose. But I want to encourage all you young ladies out here, man, listen. Don't date gangsters, drug dealers, and criminals, and stuff like that. Don't date them. I know some of my hood educated gangsters, they like, come on, hood, bro, you stepping out of bounds now, nah, man. You telling us, no, nah, because this the thing. When you dating a gangster, you can end up getting killed, young lady. When you dating a gangster, you can end up going to jail, young lady. When you dating a gangster, 
uh, somebody in your family, or your, your child could end up catching a stray bullet. When you dating a gangster, you, young lady, you can be targeted. For some of these gangsters, women are not off the table. For some of these gangsters, they look, we want to eradicate him. We want to hurt him so bad, or we want to hurt they gang so bad that we're going to kill him. We're going to kill this woman too. That's how they doing it now. I mean, as corrupt and as brutal and ruthless as that is, it's just, this is the world that we living in now. So I want to encourage you young ladies, like, look, calm down. If you're not in the streets like that, don't talk tough. Don't get into street business. Because if you're putting yourself in that business, when they come for you, all that, I'm a lady and I'm a woman. They shouldn't have did that. No, uh -uh, you can't say that. Because you acting like a man. And so when you act like a man, you get treated like one. It's just that simple. You act like a lady, you play your position as a woman, you get treated like one. That's just how it go. So I'm making this video right here just for like, for the for those of you ladies who are dating gangsters. Look, get up out of that. Go find you somebody that you can live the rest of your life with. Because as you can see, these gangsters, they leave in children fatherless. By going to the grave or going to the penitentiary. This hood educated, not lane related. Peace and love, me, y'all. Take care of yourself out there. If I said anything that caused you to think, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel already. And if you're feeling generous, please make a small donation to the channel. Now, before I depart, allow me to give a shout out to some of the blessings that I received this week. Allow me to give a shout out to Jay and Beth for the $10 cash app. Thank you. Uh, Dwight Brown for the $5 cash app. Thank you. And Victoria Joseph for the $5 cash app. Thank you. And I really appreciate y'all. This is hood educated, not lame related. Stay tuned because I, I got more information that I'm going to reveal about this, about this whole demonstration. Peace and love.